Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Sip and Review. My name is Chantel. And guys, excuse me, before we get started, please hit that thumbs up to like this video. Hit the bell to be notified whenever I post a new video. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. So let's get started. I'm going to be reviewing Put a Ring on It. It's a new show on OWN. Let's talk about Season 1, Episode 1 review. So guys, I'm going to go over each couple. And I will discuss each couple. And I have them in order. So, first let's talk about couple one Hollywood and Ashley has been dating for nine years so love 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 that they're from my hometown Nola so I instantly picked up I said okay this guy's from New Orleans as soon as he started talking but you know we have our certain lingo you know our slang we use how we talk and use our words so that gave it away instantly um so moving on Hollywood, which is his name, he is a barber here in Atlanta. So Hollywood said that he proposed to her twice. And Ashley is afraid of marrying the wrong person. So this is why she has not accepted his proposal. Now, also because Hollywood is always back and forth. Um, and he wants to marry her but he's also afraid too as well guys so now i guess from what thus far you guys can see that this show is about couples that are trying to decide if they want to marry one another okay so let's move on now hollywood wasn't taking it too well to see that another man showed up to take his woman on a date so, the couples each will go on a date to see if they really want to be with their significant other that they're currently with. Because you know, sometimes it just takes you getting a new person and you get to realize that the person that you're currently with is really not what you thought they were. So, this is why they're putting them through the test to see, you know, how strong their love really is for one another. Okay, so, now when a guy showed up to take his woman on a date, um, Hollywood had a whole tantrum, y'all. Her date was good looking, tall, from Texas, and his name is Ray. Now, when he opened the door, excuse me, that Nola came out of Hollywood so quick, y'all. I was like, oh, shucks, I hope he ain't about to throw down. So, however, he did not. So, um, he, but he did check him on the spot. He was like, say, bro, I'm going to tell you like this. Don't be disrespectful. So, he was like, don't try to make no moves on this woman here. I don't want none of that funny business going on. So, you know, like he said, Hollywood don't even want Ray to sweet talk them draws off, Ashley. Because that's possible now. So, that's what Hollywood said. And I was dead at that moment, laughing my ass off. It's funny how when your man, he don't realize what he have until another man wants you. Like, it's real funny and that really is what happens, you know. Same thing for a woman, same thing for a man. You don't realize how good you have it until your, the person you're loving or your significant other is with someone else. That's when you really realize that, you know, that person can be gone from you within a blink of an eye. So, so Ashley had on them camouflage leggings, showing off her shape with her camel toe out. He was drove for real. Now, so, now they get into the car on a date and Ray, you can't hold no phone in your hand while driving the ATL, you know that. So, at least be able to afford a phone mount for $15, bruh. Shaking my head. Now, Ray, you already messed up according to Ashley because you said 
you a Bucks fan and you like them over the Saints. Okay. So, no wonder why he can't get a second date from Ashley. You ain't a Saints fan, bro. She not feeling that at all. But, it's not really a deal breaker, though, for me. Um, I'm hoping it's not really a deal breaker for Ashley as well. Now, because my bae is a Falcons fan and I still rock with him, I just try not to get into a team debate with him over who's the best you know i just like keep that sports talk like i don't even want to talk about nothing i don't want to talk about no saints i want to talk about falcons when we're together i don't want to talk about none of that to help keep the peace in the relationship so did she say boo -coo? also i was weak um she got me missing home for real watching this show listen to them use I was slaying, you know, certain things that we say. Um, we might be the only one that say buku. I, I haven't really heard too many other people use that term. So, on their day, Ray was giving Ashley compliments on how he likes how they vibe and how much they have in common. So, Ashley gets back from her day with Ray. Excuse me. And she told... Her man that if they weren't together, she would go on a few more dates with Ray. Hmm. See how easy it is to get your girl snatched from you. That was real easy. After one day, she's already saying that she would have been with him. Now, dear men, that's dragging your feet. Take notes. Okay. Ashley, first of all. You was taking too long to answer Hollywood's question till when he asked you that. Would you go on another date with him? She took too long to answer that, guys. Now, now Ashley did say something that was a low blow now. And Hollywood wasn't really feeling that comment now. She said that her date with Ray was refreshing, okay? Refreshing. As we said, Nola, play P. And get effed. Okay? So, during the review, Hollywood and Ashley wore the same color outfits. How cute. Now, it's a sign that you've been dating for a long time. When Ashley got home from her date, he was still upset with her and he was worried. You know, he had that look on his face, guys. Now that you're ready to marry her, she's not ready anymore because you took too damn long. So you better get it together before someone else snatches that red bone right from under you. You heard me? Moving on to Michael and Shay. This couple has been dating on and off for two years. Now, they've been knowing each other for six years. They're best friends. Michael isn't ready to get married now. When they first met, Shay wasn't sure if she was over her ex. So they broke up, guys. So... Shay did cut Michael off at first at that time because of this. Her still, you know, not being sure if she was quite over her ex. Now, during that breakup, he proposed to another woman. Okay, can you believe that? He proposed to another woman during him and Shay's breakup. Now, so that's what has him afraid to propose to another woman. He's afraid to propose to Shay because he has such a bad experience with the first fiance so first of all it's clear that the other woman was a mistake from jump and you guys belong with Shay. okay maybe y'all now i did say that statement but just maybe that is what's going on here so michael eat the shit or get off the pot because all that back and forth like it, it's just ridiculous now Shay goes on a date with Andre. So they hook Shay up with this guy named Andre. And he calls himself a unicorn. What the world? Really? A unicorn? Unicorns aren't real, Dre. So, now, however, they got to talking. And I agree with Andre what he said now. The fact that he proposed to another woman and not you shows that he is capable. However, 
and it also shows that he just don't see you as wifey material now y'all been begging for all that time but when he gets with another woman he proposes to her but not you so maybe that's something to really take a closer look into Shay okay so I'm just gonna keep it a buck with you Shay he may really he may not be I don't know and I'm thinking why she's never thought of it like that that's odd now the thing about Michael, he's real cocky, guys. He's really too cocky for me. He takes Shay for granted. You know, he really does. Now, he was on bottom of Shay when on her blind date. He said that he wasn't worried at all. Because she ain't going to find someone better than he is, basically. So, I think he's just fronting. He had to be a little bit bottom now. For me, that's troubling to even think that he wasn't bothered at all like not even just like a little maybe 20 percent 30 percent he put on the front as to make us believe that he wasn't bothered now one bit he just knew that she was coming back home to him okay so his ego is just too big now he has a huge ass ego guys so shay i will teach him a lesson though I will leave his ass for a while. Don't call him nor ask him. No calls, DMs, etc. You know, some guys, times you got to teach people a lesson. You know, because he's taking you for granted. You know, because in his mind, he truly believes that you're stuck with him. So he might need a reality check. Okay, so. Um, like I said. And with me, I'll put his ass back on the shelf because his time has expired, in my opinion. Michael, see you more of as a best friend to me. That's what it looks like, than a possible wife. Okay, but hey guys, this is just episode one. So, Shay said that she's not going on another date with her blind date because he's too short. I hear that. I don't like short men. Sorry, I like my men tall, chocolate, and slim, honey. No short men because I am short myself and I just I just don't think it looks good together. Now, next couple, Eulis and Mimi. They've been dating for six years. Eulis said that he feels complete whenever he's with her. Oh, how cute. So, Mimi, girl, don't let your true love walk out of your life now. Mimi didn't know if she wants to stay with Euless. Euless said he is willing to wait for her. Now, the problem is that Euless cheated on Mimi before and he regrets it now. He's ready to marry her. Um, she also has a problem with his lack of communication skills. Plus, she's still not over him cheating on her, so... She's really afraid, like seriously afraid. Now, Eulis was jealous now when it was time for Mimi to go on her date. Of course he was. Now, however, her date did not happen because, excuse me, Mimi received a troubling phone call from her dad's doctor. Her dad had a stroke a while back and his condition has worsened. So... She did not go on her date, guys, so we will see how her date goes on the next episode. And thank you guys for watching my review. I'll put a ring on it. Please do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye now.